keeping up with our motto let learning be a joy and teaching a pleasure here we are with the remote teaching and learning process to bridge the gap happy learning students i hemlata sethia give a warm welcome to all the students of thakur vidya mandir high school and junior college today we are going to start with class 6 science chapter 1 natural resources air water and land observe the picture alongside and answer the questions what different things do you see in this picture yes correct trees animals birds clouds sun water etc where do we see the birds in the sky or in the air right where are the elephant and giraffe seen yes on the land where is the crocodile yes in the water you can see that some things in the picture are in air some in water and some on land thus all things on the earth are associated with air water and land air is called earth's atmosphere water is called earth's hydrosphere and land is called earth's lithosphere and all this together are called biosphere bio means life and sphere means region so living things and the part of the lithosphere hydrosphere and atmosphere which they occupy are together called biosphere here in this picture you can see different things like sun forest rock minerals animals air oil water and soil all these things are available naturally and are important for sustaining the living world on the earth and for fulfilling their basic needs they are called natural resources here in this chapter we are going to study air water and soil that is land in detail the air in the atmosphere around the earth contains nitrogen oxygen carbon dioxide inert gases nitrogen dioxide sulfur dioxide water vapor and dust particles the five layers of the atmosphere around the earth are shown in this picture the very first layer around the earth is called troposphere 80% of the total mass of gases are present in this layer the next layer is stratosphere which contains ozone layer we will learn more about ozone layer in the later part of this chapter 19% of the total mass of gases is present in stratosphere further in mesosphere and thermosphere the proportion of mass of gases goes on decreasing gases are not found in exosphere and beyond in this picture you can see the proportion of various gases in the air besides these gases air also contains water vapor and dust particles the amount of the gases in the air is the greatest near the surface and decreases as we go higher and higher from the surface that is air becomes rarer at the high altitudes 
Here you can see 78% is nitrogen in the air, 21% is oxygen, 0.9% is argon and 0.03% is carbon dioxide. 0.07% is the other constituents of air. Now let us see the uses of various gases in air. Nitrogen. It is required in building proteins. It is useful in production of ammonia. And it is also used in airtight packaging of food products. Oxygen. It is necessary for respiration and combustion. Carbon dioxide. It is used by plants to make their own food with the help of photosynthesis. And it is also used in fire extinguishers. Argon. It is used in electric bulbs. Helium. It is used for obtaining low temperatures. And it is also used in generating lifts in airships. Neon. It is used in decorative lights and street lighting. Krypton. It is used in fluorescent tubes. Xenon. It is used in flash photography. And Radon. It is used in hospitals to treat tumors and in cancer therapy. This picture shows large scale emission of smoke through the combustion of fuel by different agencies like factories, industries and vehicles. The smoke contains harmful gases like nitrogen dioxide, carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, sulfur monoxide which directly mixes with the atmosphere disturbing the balance between the constituents of air. This is called air pollution. In simple words, I can say air pollution is an undesirable change in the quality of air. Now let us see the effects of air pollution. Air pollution affects human health, animals as well as plants. It affects the atmosphere as a whole. It is also responsible for global warming, ozone depletion, acid rain and various respiratory illness. We have already seen that there is a layer of ozone gas in stratosphere. Ozone gas is not directly useful for the survival of living things yet it is very important for us to have this layer around the earth. The ultraviolet rays coming from the sun are very harmful for the living things. The ozone gas absorbs these rays and stops them from reaching the earth. As a result, life on the earth is protected. The ozone layer is getting destroyed because of the chemical gases like carbon tetrachloride or car chlorofluorocarbons which are used in air conditioners and refrigerators. The 16th of September is celebrated as Ozone Protection Day all over the world to make everyone aware of the importance of ozone. Thank you so much.